Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about behavioral VHDL code for three-bit counter. So before going to the code, uh, so first we will try to know what is mean by counter. So counter is something which counts. So for example, so uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 10. So if it is counting from 1 to 10, then it is called as a 10-bit kind of counter. So uh, depending on the number of bits, so it will be counting. So if it has got um, uh, three bits, then it will be counting up to uh, the 10. So like this, we will be having if two bits, then it will be counting up to four. Okay, so if it is four bit, then it will be counting up to 16 numbers. So like this, we will be having uh, different types of counters there. Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about uh, the... 3 bit counter that is it will be counting from 0 to 7 so uh, that is totally 8 bits it will be counting so if it is having 3 then it can count up to 3 bits so it will be starting from 0 0 0 and the last one will be 1 1 1 so that is 7 and this is 0 so it will be counting totally 8 numbers here okay so that's why it is called as 3 bit counter so uh, how i can write the behavioral vhdl code for this one using k statement so uh, whenever you are using k statements then it becomes very easy for us to uh, write the uh, code so uh, note that if you want to write in terms of k statement then you should note the truth table so i assume that uh, you know the truth table for this one so if you know it is well and good and if you don't know then you can check the playlist guys so i have made a whole series of videos and uh, behavioral vhdl and very low coding so if you see these videos then i'm sure that uh, it is 100 percent uh, worth of seeing those because they are 100 percent working codes which i have executed and i have written them down and i'm explaining here now okay so all right uh, first i will do what i will do uh, i will define the entity that is uh, the name of the entity is uh, user defined here so entity three bit counter here so this is user defined name which you can give anything so i have given as three bit counter and this is standard format entity i have to write and is i have to write so in between them i have to write the three bit counter or anything else you can want so i will define the input and output uh, ports here so port clock uh, that is in standard logic then reset it is also input and it is also in the standard logic similarly q is also q is input output because its value will be changing so uh, the output at this moment will be acting as the input so the present input will be acting as the output uh, so input for the second state so that's why i have to take in out that is it is acting as input as well as the output here so that is 2 down to 0 means it is totally 3 bits here q of 2 q of 1 and q of 0 so that is q of 2 q of 1 and q of 0 so 1 2 and these are 3 bits okay so now we understood how to define the port so end uh, 3 bit counter here so i have to end this entity then this is standard architecture behavioral of so make sure that you are using the same name here that is 3 bit counter and 3 bit counter so you defined the entity here and now you are calling the entity okay so and is so for this architecture behavioral the begin is there and then process input is clock so we have to process the clock first so then variable uh, so this is the variable that is temporary variable which is used in between to calculate the value and at the end this temp value will be assigned to the output that is q so it is also in the standard logic vector 2 down to 0 that means it should be the same length as that of the q all right so for this uh, process we will be having a begin so it will indicate the begin of this process so if rising edge of clock then so in counter we know clock is very important so when and uh, if and uh, that is uh, if the clock is high then only the counter will be in the active state so otherwise it will be inactive so it will check for the positive edge that is rising edge of the clock so if it is a positive edge triggered clock so i assume that if it is a power positive edge triggered counter here and then if reset is equal to zero so if you reset is equal to one at that moment the output will be equal to zero so uh, it will check for the other condition as well whether the reset is equal to one or zero so if it is zero then it will execute this one and if it is not zero then it will go for this directly that is it will jump from here to 
here okay so uh, i assume that reset is equal to zero then uh, case statement will start here so case attempt is so uh, whenever case statement we are using so case means the temp value will be replaced by these numbers here so when temp is uh, okay so when uh, the case value that is temp value is zero 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 the temp will be assigned with zero zero one so present if it is zero 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 then it will be then it will go for the zero zero one that is zero to one transmission will be happening so it is zero in decimal and it is one in decimal so zero after zero one will be coming so this output is acting as an input for the next state that is when zero zero one the output will be zero one zero that is from one to two it has reached now so for two it has came then this is acting as an input zero one zero then it will go for zero double one that is three years so similarly four five six seven and when it comes to seven when input is seven then again it has go to the first state that is zero so it will be counting from one to seven that is totally eight numbers here so you just write uh, when zero 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 one will be the output like this we'll be writing up to when one 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 the output will be zero 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 and when others the temp value will be assigned to zero so if it is something other than this then the output is zero by default okay so this uh, case statement is ended here that is end case then for this it is a else statement so if a reset is equal to zero this will happen if reset is equal to one the temp will be directly assigned with the zero 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 then end if then again if this rising edge is there then we have to end another if as well then q is assigned with the value of temp so as i said temp is just to calculate at the end we will be taking the temp value in terms of q that is the actual output so q assign q with the value of temp so less than equal to temp so q so this statement will give the value of temp to the q here then end the process that is this process then end the behavioral here so end behavioral so like this uh, the code for behavioral vhdl for three bit counter will be working so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates